everybody, and welcome to another video by ThePilotReport.com. I'm your host, Len Costa. Now, today's video is another installment in our interview series called Notice to Airmen, where I sit down with various aviation business owners and professionals and ask them to share their, some of their information about their products and services with us. On the call with me today is Carl Valeri of ExpertAviator.com. Welcome aboard, Captain Valeri. Hey, thanks. It's good to be here, Glenn. Great, great to see you. Yes, indeed. So, for a little a little background for the folks out there, Carl and I have done some flying in the past uh, in in the Embraer 145. So, you know, as far as uh, expert aviator, I can attest personally for Carl's knowledge and uh, abilities in the airplane. But why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about your background, how you how long you've been flying, maybe some of your credentials and other flight experiences. Sure. Sure, I'd love to. Actually, I, I got into the uh, flying experience because I just loved uh, model airplanes, and then uh, one thing led to another, and uh, my background was in computers and, and training in computers. I said, well, let me meld the two together, and let me teach aviation and and also fly at the same time. Mm -hmm. So flight instructing was, was the natural progression there. I just fell in love with it, and uh, I cannot get enough uh, flight instructing. The only thing is, though, since I do fly full time for an airline, I don't have enough time to be with my students. Right. <laughs> so, expert aviator actually came from that. It was my put the questions for my students and and my ability to write them emails that helped them get through their ratings while mm -hmm. I was at work. And I said, well, boy, if I put this on the internet, gosh, that would help them, but not not just them, but other people. Right. And that's kind of been my theme. I've, I've become involved with like the aviation safety program and I've been doing, I've been a speaker with them since uh, 2002, uh, or excuse me, 2000. I've been a speaker with the FAA safety program. That's a program where the FAA gives free seminars throughout the country. I've uh, been a, a master CFI from the years of 2000 to 2002, and I've also worked with a variety of type of students. Very cool. Um, all right. So, yeah, we, you know, I mentioned the website, expertaviator.com. Tell us uh, basically the website portion of what you've been doing. You mentioned kind of get started to help right. keep your students up to speed while you were out flying, you know, at the airlines. But how long have you, how long have you been working on that website? Well, it, it started – off year some products and, and reviews and I found out that really wasn't my passion my passion was was more relating to people uh, about flying and, mm -hmm. and teaching them like your website's terrific I, I love watching the reviews and that's where I point people towards is people's mm -hmm. website like yours what I want to do is teach them about flying right and and, and and being safer as a pilot and what happened is when I started putting these blog posts out there, my students started sharing them with their friends. And then I said, well, why don't I get a newsletter together? So I put a newsletter on there, and, and I started sending it to their friends. And then I, I said, well, let, let's try to put a schedule together here. We'll have like a, a lesson every week. Mm -hmm. so, I, so every week I put a blog post out there. And it will the topics that I've chosen uh, go from instrument training, because I have a lot of instrument students, to careers in aviation, you mm -hmm. know, how to get started. My experiences to the basics of flying, uh, the basics of Class Charlie airspace. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're also somebody who doesn't fly but has a hobby and likes to watch airplanes, or is a passenger on an airline, you know they can actually send us some uh, questions. Also, we have a thing called ex Ask the Expert, and if I can't answer it, I have a pool of experts that I can go to, mm -hmm. both in the FAA and the air traffic control. Wonderful. Now, speaking of um, you know doing some work. Some presentations and the safety you know, safety speeches and presentations. I also understand that you you are uh, sometimes on the local news as an aviation expert. Tell us a little bit about how you got uh, that privilege. Well, I um, again because I had done uh, done so many speeches around the Tampa Bay area, mm -hmm. uh, both as a safety counselor back then. Now they call them safety volunteer, and okay. also with different clubs. Uh, just so happens, uh, one of my students he uh, produced the. Uh, Six o'clock news, <laughs> and uh, boy, <laughs> he how said, convenient. "Boy, you know, maybe." <laughs> how convenient. He says, "Why don't Why don't you come aboard and, and and talk to our folks?" Well, honestly, that never panned out for years. Mm -hmm. He was with uh, yeah, he was with Fox News. Okay. Well, NBC picked me up. Okay. And they said, "Boy, can you come on and and, and talk a little bit about an accident incident?" Uh, the latest thing I did was. Uh, remember the the uh, readers digest the fifty things your pilots the secrets your pilots yes. don't want to know. So. But that was the latest video I did for actually Fox News. Uh, and talk about various different uh, aspects of aviation, how it, mm -hmm. it uh, affects the traveling public, and also uh, talk about 
people in the in the profession. We have a unique environment there in Tampa because we have an Air Force base there, and I've worked with a lot of the, mm-hmm. the safety uh, folks at the Air Force base too, and the safety counselors there. And so they usually pull me on and ask me, "Hey, quick interview. Let's let's talk a little bit about this incident that happened, etc." And uh, it, we really, in aviation, we don't have a, a, a large uh, group of folks that are willing to be advocates for our, like yourself, right. for the aviation community because there's so much misinformation out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say that one thing that's great about the internet is it's getting larger and people yes, are indeed. starting to <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. Just like in my website, when I say something that isn't quite correct, when the news media says something, it's all over the internet. Yeah, and yes. it's great. <laughs> it's terrific. So you get the real news, you know, right? Mm-hmm. And, the facts straight right away on the internet, mm-hmm. which I love that. So that's uh, you know the media is just terrific about getting the word out to many different people, and this this medium is terrific too. The, the internet and uh, and newsletters, right? So what sort of uh, what variety or levels of skill are you hoping to focus on with the website? Are you going with you know, everybody from private all the way up to ATP? Do you have? Uh, I mean, do you even know what kind of cut folks you have and visit you? Sure. Uh, What's interesting is that I've I wanted to focus on the basic level, but also give a little bit towards the more professional level. Okay. What has happened though is it's evolved more towards the professional and okay. and uh, towards the person that's flying in in the system, and that's really I want to try to to focus uh, on on more of the the basics of aviation mm-hmm. because that's where I get a, a lot of uh, a lot of people at my website. The, most of the, I'd say the majority of the people that follow me are uh, Air Force pilots, airline pilots, okay. and people who want to be, become professional pilots professional, right. is, is my primary audience. But uh, again, it's open to everybody because we try to put these things into simple terms. So even complex uh, concepts, people can go out there and read about them. Mm-hmm. For instance, you know, what is icing and that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking through your site and I liked some of the, uh, you know, some of the blog posts are very in depth. And as you were saying, <clears throat> they are uh, geared and written a little bit not basic in the in the sense of you know uh, at a sixth grade level is dumbing it down. But there's clear descriptions so that even some non aviators can you follow along and understand what you're talking about. And I can appreciate that sometimes. You know, we have this in, in all industries, there's jargon and all sorts of slang terms that, you know, outside folks don't always understand. And it's nice when you, we, you know, we can be able to articulate a thought for a more broader audience uh, for them to understand what's what's going on. Um, so tell us a little uh, bit more. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say I have to give credit to my editors on that. You know, like I <laughs> Having editors that know nothing about aviation is terrific. Unfortunately, now they're understanding the terms, and now they're they're speaking as aviators. <laughs> yeah. Time for editors, I guess. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, time to get some new editors. <laughs> um, <clears throat> awesome. So, what kind of plans do you hopefully have? You know, what are your um, long term goals for the website? My my long term goals are actually to be able to put together a series, uh, a multiple series, a series on instrument flying, a series on airspace, mm-hmm. things that I, I've actually had a uh, an expertise in the past on, and a series on uh, um, uh, um, like uh, learning to fly, that mm-hmm. type of thing, and have you know those different sections. Then eventually put that uh, possibly into something uh, like a publication, an ebook, or mm-hmm. an experience in the past I uh, used to write manuals for uh, computer manuals mm-hmm. uh, and uh, that was uh, many many years ago and I've actually written a couple couple of uh, uh, manuscripts and and uh, so that's really where I'm going towards there but I also want it to be a repository of information and unique articles for folks mm-hmm. it also it's uh, enabled me to become uh, and a part of my goal is to become a voice in the aviation community mm-hmm. and uh, in that simple goal I think that's really what we're I see because even though I write all the articles I, I do get a lot of help on this from different experts in the field mm-hmm. both my editors and also the, the folks that help me out at the FAA mm-hmm. and also the folks that help me out that are air traffic control that type of thing so that's that's where we're going we're going to, to the point where we are a voice in the community and and, uh, and I think that's happening fine it's uh, taken quite a while I've been doing a web, website for a few years but it's not until uh, the past year where we've had consistency about it. It's, it's, just, it's just so much fun. And I tell you, the true, true goal here is to have someone call you up and say to you, listen, Carl, I 
I read your blog post and it really helped me. Right. And as an instructor, the greatest thing that we hear is, hey, what you taught me helped me and possibly saved my life. And right. that's something that is very satisfying and that's why I do it. Right. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, uh, how could folks uh, get in touch with you? Are you on Twitter, Facebook, anything like that? Twitter at expertaviator.com. And if you look at Facebook, it's also expertaviator.com. Uh, you also can uh, send me an email to uh, my personal email and ask it away any type of question. And uh, that email is carl, C A R L, at carlvoleri.com. And if you go to expertaviator.com, all the contact information is there so they can get in okay. touch with me. And uh, I have a lot of uh, posts and links. And uh, I will have uh, the next uh, presentation I do with the FA will also be out there on the 8th. And uh, so just feel free to ask any question. Nothing. There's no silly questions. And I, I hear it all the time. People mm-hmm. say, I'm really embarrassed to ask this question, so don't mention my name. So I, I will not mention your name. And I'll say, okay, this comes from one of my, you know, my friends, mm-hmm. students, read that kind of thing. And, it, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's something where we, you and I, who've been flying for years, we don't know everything. You right. know, imagine that. And right. we have professionals that say, hey, what about this? Mm-hmm. What do I do in this situation? And then you say, hey, let me do some research on that, and I'll get back to you. And when, in that research, we'll actually put that uh, blog post together and put it out on the internet. Because mm-hmm. if you have that question, someone else probably someone does. Someone else also. does, yeah. One of the things <laughs> that I've realized over the years of flying, I've, been, I've personally been flying now for 15 years. The more you fly, the more you realize – no two flights are the same, and you every time you go flying, you learn something. Even at our level, you know, as an airline pilot oh, yes. and still an active CFI, I learn something every time I go flying. So it's uh, it's just it's a oh continuous gosh, learning experience very, for sure. Yes, and, and you know the biggest thing is trying to master the basics, and then then mm-hmm. you can master the rest of flying. That's but right. There's a vast <laughs> amount of information out there, just mm-hmm. like you're saying that you. Can, Never know everything, but you try. Yeah. And that's what we strive for on our website is, you know, to become – try to become an expert in whatever it is you do and, uh, and continue that education. Awesome. And hopefully we're providing that with the website. Excellent. I appreciate you coming on the call with us today, Carl. And uh, once again, folks, this is Carl Valeri with ExpertAviator.com and uh, another video in the Notice to Airmen series. My name's Len Costa with ThePilotReport.com and we're wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody.